Hi everybody, Brett back at the Tooth Scale Modeling with another spear review. I haven't built any artillery in my whole modeling life. But I saw this. I like border models. I thought this looks really nice. German 88mm Fleck 36. It's out of metal tin. Limited edition. Easy to assemble. Six figures. PE parts. Rubber tires, ammunition, box and bullet included, mobile unit included. Three schemes. Let's see what those are. On the back of this tin, there's a history, which you can look at. Freeze frame. Read it at your heart content. Some nice authentic pictures. This is kit number... BT-013. Like I said, it is in a metal tin. We are going to try and open this metal tin. I haven't seen metal tin since Ravel was doing them. Or was it AMT? Someone was doing them. This is all gray plastic. Bag three, four, five, six, seven, nine, nine, ten screws. Let's see what's over here. You've got your instructions, your decals, your four of your rubber wheels. You got a metal barrel in there. So that over here, put this over here. And since I got these rubber wheels in my hand, let's look at them. So there are eight of these total. Nice tread pattern. Rubber, hollowed out like real tires would be. No name on these. All right, four of those, the other four are in that bag. Uh, we got shields and border models. We also got self sealing bags. So there, well, that looks like scale thickness pretty much. Maybe a little thick, but it's beautiful. I think you've got maybe four, five, six ejector pin marks right here that you'll need to clean up. But nothing too terrible. Looks nice. And we'll open this one. Maybe. Well, I'm gonna get all that back in there. So you got your slide molded parts for your transport system. They're identical. They have a couple ejector pin marks inside, like you'd expect, but they're very nicely detailed. They look very good. You've got two of those, and you've got two of these, which are some of the control arms, I'm assuming. And you've got two, three, four of these, which are some of your control wheels. So we got four of those F's. See if I can get this all back in the bag. First, I gotta neatly stack them. I think someone has paid good money to put these things in the bags. Oops, I almost got it in the bag. Here. Two of those, and two of those. So the first one, just a bunch of tiny controller. It looks like a drive motor of some sort, some tow hooks, another drive motor or a winch. Could be, 
in your box. Almost looks like an old school skeleton key. So two of these foot pedal controls, I would imagine. Again, very nice, two Ds. And this one, it's like coil springs. You see how the, it's bent up right there? Good detail. I would think those would be for the tires or wheels, but I don't know. And then for your positioning. There's also two of these, which is the e-sprue. And I'm not even going to try to put this stuff back in the bag right now. Because we're going through all the small ones first. Two of these, which is the aforementioned... Wooden ammo box and shells. They call them bullets. Look at the beautiful wood grain detail in these ammo boxes. That almost looks like woven pattern. The shells. Do have a burr line, a slight one right there, but nothing major. So you got two of these, which gives you six shells. This, I swear that looks like a woven pattern. And then the ammo box. So, two of those. Now we're getting into some bigger ones. All right, so. This would be sprue B. It's got some of the support bars. Looks like this is your plastic barrel. Looking good. All the way through. Like it's got some gonna have some tools like a tank would. This side. Um maybe one injector pin mark. Maybe it's part of a positioning thing, because I don't see any on the other parts. Then your barrel. Where'd your barrel go? There it is. Slide molded and rifling. So, you got that one. Oh no. They came back so. But that made an obnoxious sound in your headphones. This two matching pair again. Matching pair on this one. There's your wheels. So I don't know what the parts are. Some of your control arms. Some more of your small parts. Leaf springs. Yeah, but this thing had a heck of a kick when it fired. There's a hose, be careful. Taking it off. Other side, so a lot of these are Looks like ejector pin marks inside of here, but you probably won't see them because these will be on the one side. That's my guess. Hope I'm right. So two of those. Here. We have some more tiny and delicate parts. More support parts. But these are just some very small parts. All along this whole area, all up through here. So be careful with sprue A. Because it's got a lot of tiny parts on it.
And... Here we have Sprue Eye. And again, there's some shield and some side shielding. Control levers. Another shell. Part of the breech, maybe. This looks like a fan. And there's no ejector pin marks on the side of the shields, but there is on the bottom one, just like the other two we showed you. Okay. <coughs> and we've got us some people. And you know, border models make some good, good people. Looks like winter camouflage. You've got your sighting mechanism. Helmets are separate. There's some faces there. Of course, I turn him over and his face is on this side. So, interesting helmet with this. Looks like it's wrapped like it would be to keep it from getting too much moisture in. Nice touch. So there you have the fine figures. And we get to break into the instruction. The other tires, the metal barrel. Decals, so. Four more tires, exactly the same. For the strikers for the shells and then other parts. Beautiful turn metal barrel, rifled. Trying to keep this all together. For some reason, order staples this on there. I got your kill markings, tanks, aircraft. Uh, other artillery pieces maybe, or a boat. And the stripes for the barrels that they used. And finally, instructions. Same as the box art, beautifully well done. This is the same thing as on the back of the tin. I guess maybe for it's a regular box and won't have it. Sprue map. I mean, it says four tires, but you get eight. Then you're starting with the dry part. I like the detail going on there. Continue working on there. Obviously the fore and the rear. And you're still working on it, both rear and fore. Make sure you pay attention so you get them the right way. As you're building them. And then you're still putting parts on. So these are actually look like to be winches, not springs. And that's what those were for. Okay, then you're working on the positioning parts. These are look like the stabilizer legs. So you can do rotate 180 degrees to skull low position or high position. So they're positionable. 
putting the base of the whole gun together with your legs up or down. Okay, and then retracted right there in your folded up state. The state of the latch when folded. So pay attention. And your gun, big old gun. No shield, extended, pressed. This does not look to be a simple build, but the detail will be great when you're finished. And there, you've got your shields. Now, let's see. I guess the shields would be for when it's up for anti-aircraft and then it's flipped when it's down for ground attack. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that's what it looks like. Three states are optional. And then your base going on. And your eight wheels going on. Although it only says make four, but it's make four twice. And then painting your figures. I'm assuming all those different colors on there help you with the color callouts, which I haven't seen yet. And there we go, some color callouts. Those are weathering gross. So and then there's a scheme. Sorry, my phone rang. This scheme here, which I like that one. And that's it. That's the whole thing. So this is a very nice kit, very nice display, very nice packaging. How well it builds up will remain to be seen. You got artillery guys probably will be able to do it in a breeze. Whereas I would take have to work hard at it. So, somebody sit your ass to the bench and build this and show me what it looks like when it's done, because eventually I'm going to build this, just like everything I've got. So, thanks for watching. Enjoy your hobby. See you next time.